Hello guys, Nate here. Here to show you some fairly advanced Android stuff. Please excuse me while I find my cord. And it has to do with um, Android debugging and installing apps and stuff like that using the ADB, which stands for Android Debug Bridge. So that was me plugging my phone in. My old, super old HTC. So let's go to, not that, let's go to settings. I don't know if I have Android debugging on. So let's go into settings, sorry about that, and I will see if it's even on. Applications. Okay, it's on. So let's run ADB, just to show what commands there are. So obviously there's a lot, there is push which basically copies to the device pull which copies from sync which which just basically um, copies but only if it's a different file and shell just basically uh, runs the um, goes into and runs a command line in it run an emulator that's something completely different um, the rest of these you really won't have anything except Used for it except install. This just basically installs any APKs, uninstall, uninstalls any packages, backup. You will probably use that a lot. Restore it, and these are just other stuff, random stuff. So let's let's uh, shell into it. A D B shell. We will see, and then we'll go to let's see system ls. Oh, that's denied. Forgot. So app. We'll go into app, and this is what mainly I want to do. I'm not even sure that it'll work. But let's exit that. Adb pool slash system slash it has to be forward slash just because it's limit uh, linux based slash app slash rosy dot apk so we'll get that off and then we will unplug this one and push put in my new one I will allow this computer so I'll ls that let's see if Rosie's in there okay this is just basically the HTC home screen that I've been trying to get it's it's an old HTC it's based on Android 2.1 the newest Android is 5.0 so it's pretty old this just basically installs any APKs, mainly used if you can't enable any apps that aren't from the Play Store. It didn't work with uh, some of the other ones that are right there. Yeah, so, <clears throat> just to show what else it could do, I'm going to use it right now. ADB shell Alright, so let's see what there is in here Probably missing some stuff that is needed
HCC music. I'm gonna try to get that off of there. Oops. Let's exit and ADB pool system app HTC music dot APK we will plug the other one in don't forget to flip it ADB install HTC music Okay, it doesn't want to go away. Okay. Oh, it's being so weird. Alright, so we'll install that and see if it works. Now that's what I've been getting, but we'll see. Now we'll try to install this eye launcher. Three point one. Let's see what that is. ADB install. I. I launcher. Dot. APK. That's not APK. That's APL. Oh, three point one. Since this news one. So let's see how it works and stuff. So this is the first time for me running it, it's gonna be it'll take a while. So this one looks like iOS 7. The newest one looks like iOS 8. And the 2.1 looks like iOS 6, so let's clear the screen. And let's see what else I could do. I can reboot to the bootloader. Let's actually do that. And let's see if I could change anything over here. No. I wish I could. Alright, reboot. To the bootloader. So it's rebooting. Okay, so the bootloader is called Odin Mode. Alright, so... We'll boot into the bootloader on my old phone because that one has a better bootloader. And we'll see what that is. Yeah. The bootloader on this is fast boot. Let's reboot. And we'll see if we could reboot into recovery. It'll be doing that for a while. And let's see what else there is. Bug report. I just like doing this to trip out my friends because they get tripped out really easy. <laughs> And when they see this, they'll be like, oh man. Uh, so the version number of ADB. So it's 1.0.31. We will go into ADB. Help. Which will show the same screen. We'll do ADB.
and we will get the serial number S E R I A L no so reboot into recovery no I don't want to do that recovery and we will see what it does alright it boot into recovery as expected so we will reboot it and we'll see what else we can do we can Let's see what ADBPQP is. TTY1. Alright, so that's not doing anything. We'll see if update will work. So again, we will reboot into recovery. Because I think there was something for an update from ADB. Not super positive, probably not, but we'll see. So there should be an update in here somewhere. Wait, no, I think that was fast boot. Yeah. So we'll fast boot, and then we will get boot and then let's find the kernel that we want to use never mind alright so I actually think we're pretty done here Sorry about that, I forgot to plug in my computer. Oops. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're done here. I think we're done for this video. So, goodbye. Hope you learned something. I probably didn't do a very good job. I, but, I will see you later.